Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of employee uh, payroll management series. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up and connect to our SQLite database so we can start programming uh, the software itself. So, we'll download the link in the description down below, download the files, and it includes the icons, the jar files. So uh, basically the whole package so we can uh, start uh, developing our program so uh, you need SQLite manager in Mozilla Firefox so open up your Mozilla Firefox and turn a browser go to here click on add-ons and the space gonna pop up you're gonna type SQLite manager and you're gonna download this and install so you're going to do this and there you go so you're going to restart now and there you go and now you're going to go to my add-ons and you're going to see the SQLite manager so if you click on here you can add the SQLite manager here by going to customize and there you go you can grab it here just throw it there and that's it you're done so you can add there you go that's the SQLite manager. So we are going to create our uh, project first, and then we're gonna come back, back, come back here. So you don't need this anymore. Close it. Close tabs. Eh? And now you're gonna head over to your NetBeans IDE, and you're gonna go here, and you have to file a new project, obviously Java application. You have to click on next. And we're gonna name it employee payroll. And you're gonna click on finish. And there you go. So we will need to import our SQLite jar to our library here. So click on the libraries, right click, add jar to folder, and you're gonna go to your file that I they downloaded and you can see here a little SQLite the jar you're gonna double click on that and then you're gonna install the jar file. So you're gonna click on open and there you go. It's in here now. So now you're gonna go back to your SQLite manager in Mozilla Firefox and you're gonna go to databases and you're gonna click a new database and we're gonna name it my database and you're going to click OK and now it's going to tell you where are you going to save that so I'm going to save it under my documents, NetBeans, projects, employee payroll which is our project itself and you're going to select the whole folder so you select folder and there you go so if you, if you go to the NetBeans projects folder and you're going to go to our employee payroll you can see our database in here created my database.sqlite so just minimize that now so just minimize that now and you're going to go to your project now and we're going to start our code in order to connect to database so we're going to go here employee the barrel new java class and we're going to name it db and we're going to click on finish and there we go and now <coughs> And now we need a couple of things. We need, we need two imports. So we're going to do import Java SQL star. And the second import is import Java X dot swing. And same thing here. And then you're going to go in here. And you're going to do a method public static. We're going to do a connection and we're going to say job underscore db and you're going to do this. We can add a try and catch, so we're going to do try and we're going to do catch exception a. And there you go. And then we're going to add here j option ping dot show message dialog 
of your project with the database so in my case I'm going to go here and there you go this is the location and then you're gonna you're gonna put in your database in at the end so I'm gonna do double slash and I'm gonna say my database dot sq right <clears throat> and before that we're gonna do the j DBC SQLite and uh, there we go. <coughs> and we're gonna add a return and we're gonna say call and then we're gonna add a return null. And there you go. So you should have now completed the connection to the database itself and don't forget to check out my next tutorial it's going to be the login uh, thank you don't forget to like and subscribe